Hey guys, it's me, Halloween Nerd. I was just wearing my ghost face mask. Um, in this video, I am going to be talking about the new Scream movie. Um, one, there isn't going to be any spoilers. Trust me, I am not going to spoil this movie for you guys. Um, hold on a second, I'm just drinking out of my screen cup it's the um souvenir cup um I also got the uh souvenir popcorn pocket um before we get into this video I just want to show you guys my movie ticket to screen don't know why that is backwards but it is for some reason it's backwards so, I went to see Scream 5 last Saturday in theaters. Um, it was good. Um, I did take my ghost face mask with me. Um, I really, I thought the movie was good. Um, one, um, one, uh, Nev Campbell, David Arquette. Uh, and Courtney Cox did come back for Scream 5. Um, I think everybody was already going to know that. Um, but the movie was, was amazing. I really liked it. I think it, there were some parts in the movie that could have been done a little bit better. Um, I mean, it's not as good as the original here, but, um, I thought it was a pretty decent movie, actually, I thought it was pretty decent, um, I quite enjoyed the movie, um, if some of you have not seen Scream 5, I do recommend going to see it before it is out of theaters, um, and if you go to see the movie and in theaters make sure you get your souvenir cup and your souvenir popcorn bucket um, I will insert a picture of my popcorn bucket and a close-up picture of my cup in the um in the video as well as um, I had my boyfriend take a picture of me um, standing beside the giant scream uh poster with my ghost face mask on so i will include that picture in this video i will insert that um but the video was really good it did take place in woodsboro like like the others um it was it was a pretty decent movie um, there were some kills that were pretty good. Um, I'm not going to mention any of the other characters' names. And I'm not going to mention about what happens in the movie. Because if I, because if I do that, I would be spoiling the movie for everyone. And that's not what I I'm going to do. Because I know that... You guys would not spoil the movie for me, and I'm not going to spoil the movie for you guys. That's not why we're here. Um, <clears throat> sorry. Um, definitely go check out the movie in theaters. Or you could probably, and if you're not able to go to the um, theater to see it, or if the movie has already done playing at your local theater where you guys live. Um, there are probably some streaming sites out there that you could watch the movie for free. Um, but I do recommend you go see it. I do recommend you watch that movie. Um, all I'm going to say is uh, Ghost Face is back. And he is better than ever. 
There are some really great kills in the movie, like I said. Um, especially at the end of the movie. That's all I'm going to say. But, I quite enjoyed that movie a lot. It was pretty decent for, uh, the new movie. Um, but yeah, you definitely have to check it out if you haven't. I wanted to go on opening day, but I never got a chance to do that. Um, but I'm so glad I got to see this in theaters, um, because I've always wanted to see a Scream movie in theaters, and I, I wanted to go in the theater dressed up as Ghostface, but, um, my brother has the Ghostface costume, but he could not find it anywhere. And I wanted to wear that, wanted to go into the uh, theater dressed up as Ghostface, of course. Because I thought that would be really cool. Um, never got a chance to, couldn't find the costume, but um, I did take my Ghostface mask with me and um, sat in the theater watching the movie, wearing the mask. Well, throughout half of the movie. Um... Most of the time I was, um, eating popcorn and drinking soda, but, um, yeah, right in the middle or right in the middle part of the movie, I threw my ghost face mask on and sat there. Um, it was, uh, it was good. <clears throat> there were probably people staring at me, wondering, what is she doing? Uh... Hello, I'm wearing a ghost face mask, like these people did in Scream 2, when they went to go see Stab, in Scream 2. So, it was kind of, for me, it was kind of like, uh, it was kind of, for me, it was kind of like, uh, seeing Stab, by wearing the ghost, sitting in there with my ghost face mask on. So... I, I really enjoy doing that. It was, it was a lot of fun. So happy, I was so happy to get my movie ticket for Scream, get in there, get my popcorn, and my soda, and the souvenir cup, and popcorn bucket. It was, it was really good, and I, like I said, I've always wanted to see Scream in theaters, and I finally got a chance to, and I am so happy I did. Very amazing. If you guys go, if you guys go and watch Scream 5 in theaters, and if you guys have a ghost face mask, or you guys have the Scream ghost face costume, definitely wear the, uh, definitely carry in your Scream mask, or you could go and dress up as Ghostface, and go to the movie, and go watch Scream with your, with your full costume and mask on. If you want to, don't worry about what anyone says. If you guys go see the movie, and you guys are wanting to go in costume, go ahead. Go for it. Um, I'm pretty sure you can. Um, if you do, uh, do not wear the scream mask as you walk into the theater or at the concession stand. Don't do that. Wait until you get in to the theater and into your seat before you put your mask on. Just, just, um, let that, uh, let you guys know that. Um, I think everybody knows this, but... Do not carry any weapons in. Um, don't not don't even carry in a fake knife or anything, even if it's uh, plastic or whatever. Don't don't carry that in. Don't do that. Uh, I think everybody knows that, but uh, if you don't, I'm just gonna put that out there and let you know that. Um, if you guys have if you guys have seen Screen Five. 
and you guys went in with your mask on or costume, if you guys did that, um, send me pictures of it on my Instagram. My Instagram is Paranoia Destroyer one So, you guys can go and follow me on there. Uh, I do have my Instagram set to private, of course. Um, but, uh, you guys could direct message me on Instagram, um, and show me the pictures that you guys took of, of you at the movies, if you put on your ghost face mask, or you went in the full costume and everything. Send me some pictures of that. I would love to see you guys like that. Um... Is some theaters, see, some theaters will, um, have, like, the free movie poster to Screen 5. Uh, my theater didn't do that. And they usually have those posters out on opening day. Um, some theaters have it, some don't. If you guys were lucky enough to get the movie poster, lucky. Um, but I know this video is not really anything interesting, but I just wanted to make a video rambling about the new screen movie. Um, I really, really loved the movie. Like I said, it's not, it wasn't as good as the original, um, but I, I still liked it. So, yeah. If you guys check check online uh, for at your local theaters or call them and see if they're still showing Screen Five, and if they are, and if your theater is still showing Screen Five, definitely buy a ticket, go see the movie, get you a souvenir cup and the souvenir popcorn bucket if you haven't already. And if you guys got a ghost face mask, or if you guys have got the full costume, and you guys go in dressed up as ghost face or whatever, that's amazing. Kind of just like in uh, Scream 2 when these when they went to go see Stab in the movie. If you remember in um, Scream 2 when these people went to go see the movie Stab, um, there were people dressed up. In the ghost face outfit costume it was it was cool I would love to have done that um, uh, just a little thing if you guys have not um, don't know uh, I, I think it was when I was probably maybe 11 or 12 years old um, I went my the first horror character I ever dressed up as was ghost face I had the full costume the mask it was it was cool um, but definitely check the movie out and let me know what you think of it. If you guys have seen the movie, comment comment on this video and let me know if you've guys seen the movie, what you thought of it. Um, and if you do comment on the video, don't leave any spoilers. Don't comment and leave any spoilers to the movie just in case uh, other people haven't seen it, don't spoil it for no one else, please. Thank you. Um, I'm not going to spoil that for you guys. Because I, because I know nobody likes spoilers. I don't. Um, but I hope you guys have had an amazing day. And I hope you guys enjoy this video I will leave the link to my Instagram and the description of this video so you can go to the description you can click on that link it will take you to my Instagram you can follow me you can direct message me and we will talk about horror movies whatever we could talk about horror movies music whatever you're into just, just one thing. If anyone directs messages me on Instagram, 
no inappropriate stuff. Do not message me inappropriate stuff, please. If you do that, you will be reported and blocked. I'm just going to put that out there, because a lot of people do that. I'm just going to put that in the video. But, I love you guys. And, just like I said, I will post, I will include the pictures of my cup, my popcorn bucket, and of me in the theater, standing with the poster and my ghost face mask. I know nobody's really gonna care, but, yeah, I love you guys. And, remember, like always, like, comment, and subscribe. If, if some of you are new here, I'm Halloween Nerd, and I love horror movies, rock, metal, punk music, and Tim Burton related stuff. So, if you are into that kind of stuff, uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button, and give this video a like, and share this video with other Scream fans, and I will see you later.